Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this video, we're going to go over our ramps, electronics, um, show you how to wire those up, the end stop switches, the heat bed, the LCD, um, and what to do with the connectors. Um, to start, we're going to start with our heat bed. This is our little six inch heat bed. You're typically, if you're going to order an install kit, you're going to get a bag of wires to go with it. For the heat bed, we're going to grab the set of wires that has four connectors on it, or four pins on the connector, which is going to be this one right here. And basically, if you look at the end, we've got two yellow on the left, two black on the right. Um, we just basically divide those up just as it is, put the two yellows together, or if you're wires are different colors, put the two on the left together and then uh, do the same, put the two on the right together. I'm just going to twist these leads together. And I'm going to put some solder on there to keep them together. Okay, then all we have to do, we're going to take our two wires. I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on those pads to start it. It doesn't matter what color you put where, but just put two left on one side and the other two on the other side. Okay. And that's all we need to do to solder up the actual um, wires for the heat bed itself. Then what you're going to do, if you have Ramps Electronics, um, you are going to get a set of wires. And it's going to be labeled like this one. You can see it says thermistor. We're going to use this for our thermistor wires for our heat bed. So instead of using the yellow and black wires, the little two pin wires that came in here, I guess it's yellow and white, where it has this Molex connector. Instead, we're going to use this one, which is going to fit better with the ramps. So all you would do, you would do the same thing in the other videos. You would get your thermistor, put your sleeving on it, and then just crimp your thermistor wire to the end of it. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is, I guess I'll show you this real quick. I'll show you that at the end. Um, you're also going to get some wires in your kit that say end stop and it's going to be a black, yellow, and red wire. What I do get one of these wires here. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the switch, we're going to install the switch on the end of it. Um, and if you look at your switches, somewhere you're going to see an NC, an NO, and a C. Um, this switch has the NC over by the, the flag, the NO is in the middle, and the C is by the hinge. That doesn't mean that every switch is going to be the same, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to get our end stop wire that has blue, red, and black. We're going to take the blue wire, and the blue is going to go onto our NC. So for this switch, it is right here. I'm just going to grab my soldering iron, solder it on real quick. Okay, then we're going to put the black wire on the C leg of the switch, which is the very end one. Put a little solder on there. Okay. Now this is very important. We do not use the red wire. We're not going to solder it on anything. It's, if you do, going to cause issues so you can either just cut it off or just remove it the whole wire from the connector just like that so in the end you're going to end up with 
a wire that says end stop and it's connected just like that. So once again, the blue wire goes to NC, the black wire goes to C. Okay, and then other, other than that, we have our uh, Ramps Electronics right here. Um, it is labeled on the board, so we're gonna put in our power supply voltage here. So this one right here, we're gonna do minus, plus, minus, plus. Um, your D8 is for your heat bed wires. So what we're going to do with our heat bed, since we have a connector on there that we don't need, we're just going to take and cut that off. And then we're going to strip those wires off. strip all these wires off here. Okay, and we're going to take the two black wires. I like to twist them and just put a little dab of solder at the end so that they do stay together. the same with the yellow. Okay, so those are soldered together. Okay, so now all we need to do is, doesn't matter what color goes where, put one there, the other one here, Okay. D9 is going to be if you use a second extruder. If you use two extruders, you would use that for your hot end. Um, D10, that's where we're going to put our other hot end, or our, the wires for our hot end. So once you have your hot end made up, like mine here, I've got it all assembled. These are the wires for the actual resistor, though. And so I'm going to cut them off. Strip them. And those are going to go into D10. Just like that. Make sure that they don't move. Okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, now you're going to receive your motors. They're all going to be pre wired, they're all going to have a Molex connector like this. You can replace them because your kit is going to come, your ramps kit is going to come with a bunch of wires and it will say motor on the end. And you can go through and rewire each of those or we can leave all of them on there except for the, um, heat, except for the Z wires. We are gonna have to uh, change those connectors out, okay? So all we need to do here, if you want to plug these in, we have our X, our Y, our Z, extruder number one, and you can always add a second extruder. So if we're going to plug these in, it's going to go just like this. So the red wire is going to be farthest away from your power connector. So we can plug it in for our extruder. Our X will fit as well. Our Y will fit, but our Z will not. Our Z won't fit because we have two connectors, one for each wire, okay? So at that point, what we could do is go ahead, cut the wires off of our Z motors, and then match it up so that when you plug them in, we would just connect them the exact same way. So this one is blue, and this one is blue, so you would connect blue and blue together, yellow and red together, green and green together, and black and red together. And then you would be able to plug in both of your motors there. Okay. The next spot is right here. We have our thermistors. We have T0, T1, and T2. So when we get our thermistor wires, um, 
if you did rewire them, that's good. If you didn't and you still have a connector like this, that's okay too, because that will plug in without any problem. Um, let's see which one is which. I want to say it's T0 is for the hot end and T1 is for the heat bed. Um, I'll put up wiring diagrams at my website. Yeah, I believe that is correct. Um, just to make sure that's how you can leave those wired. And then the very last for your end stops. You have one for the X, one for the Y, and one for the Z. If you notice on your electronics, you're going to see an S on the outside right there. That S is going to connect to our blue wire. You do need to make sure you do it that way. So there's six banks. You could hook up up to six end stops if you wanted to. And you really only need three. So we have our going down X, Y, and Z end stops. So if you notice, it goes in one slot, skips, goes in another slot, skips, and goes in another slot. Um, then the very last thing that we have is our LCD. Um, it comes pre-wired with your connector, and that connector just goes right on the end here. Just slide it on just like that. Other than that, um, you have your USB connector, and that is everything on how you connect um, everything up to your ramps, depending on what printer it is. Um, you could do that, and then uh, you would upload your firmware if needed um, to get the correct firmware that you need. Um, also, when you get your ramps, it's going to come with a screwdriver that's non-metallic. This one's metallic. You're going to have little uh, potentiometers on each axis. You can adjust that clockwise to give it more current. You can adjust it counterclockwise to give it less current. If your motors are too hot, you can turn them counterclockwise a little bit. It will give them less current. They'll produce less heat. Um, or as an alternative, you can actually hook up fans onto those, each and every motor if they get really hot, and it will cool them down as well. The kit will also come with heat sinks for your steppers. Um, and a little piece of tape that you can cut to fit just on there. You can install those, and I would recommend it. Um, it's going to help keep them cooler. Um, that is everything on how to wire up your electronics for your ramps. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to go to makerfarm.com. We have contact information there. You can email us or get a hold of us on Google Chat. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.